So I am a student at the University of East Anglia in Norwich in the United Kingdom. I'm in my second year um, as an undergrad and I'm studying international development with overseas experience. Uh, I have a varied background in development and part of my course was to take up a position abroad in a company or for an NGO working within development, um, whether it was research or policy reformation as you guys are doing. Uh, my initial interest for taking an internship in Russell Keimer at the foundation was firstly due to the last four years I've spent a lot of time out here and I actually have no existing knowledge of the social, political and economic situation in RAC itself. And secondly, doing my degree with the focus on development has encouraged me to get experience in a development organisation specifically. So the primary focus um, and project at the internship has been on the role of Arab migrant workers and teachers in the Gulf and specifically the UAE and Ras al-Khaimah. Uh, this involved um, researching and writing a lit review um, specifically on the role of Arab migrant teachers which has been pretty scarce and narrow in research so far. Uh, this also led to the development of a survey instrument um, which we would use in schools in Ras al-Khaimah to collect data on the role and status of Arab migrant teachers in Iraq and in teaching in the education system in the Gulf. Side projects have included research on academic bridge programs for Kate, a supervision of a school exam at one of the boys' secondary schools in Iraq and frequent visits to boys and girls secondary schools in Ras al Khaimah, which involve presentations on uh, encouraging the students to take up English lessons and English exams. In terms of professional growth, I have in incorporated my previous academic schools, uh, skills sorry, with the further academic skills I've learned during my lit review, during my research, I've been doing independent study and intense research which has encouraged these skills and I think together that has built up my confidence in working in a development organisation. Uh, in terms of personal growth, the foundation has something really special going on here. I think everyone who works here enjoys working here and that they have, feel they have their individual responsibility for the foundation and this is inspiring to me and this inspiration is a real personal growth as it it's nice to see that it's not just me who wants to be involved in development and it encourages me that there are other people out there who um, and alongside we can do something really great for the Middle East and then other countries worldwide as well. Definitely the main memorable moment for me was the music gig, the event that the foundation hosted. The band, the act of congress were incredible and to hear live music in Ras al was an absolute dream which has been lacking in my previous trips here. Uh, also the foundation hosts an incredible event and they brought so many different nationalities together which was also amazing to see. Yeah, I think the advice I would give would include arrive with an open mind, be willing to take on any role or project that you're encouraged to. Um, the staff are incredible at supporting any project you might take on and also it gives you a device, d diverse look into a development organisation which you might not get if you just focus on one or you're not willing to take up another option that you're given. And finally, take full advantage of the resources available and also attend every event that the foundation hosts because each one has something different to offer and you can network with different people from a diversity of jobs to diversity of nationalities. <laughs>